No, you don't need, you don't need a, the... I'm legend. He a legend, he a legend, he a legend. What's up, everybody? It's Peichel with League of Items, and we have four matches tomorrow, two in Korea and two in the LPL. Uh, I just got off the golf course. Uh, I had to hit a putt on the last hole to push a match. I did it, uh, so I'm great. Um, but before we talk about the matches, let's talk about the giveaway. So in order to be a part of the giveaway that's starting on Friday... You need to join Patreon, either the $1 tier or the $10 tier, and then you need to make a comment on one of the YouTube videos from this week. Well, I mean, just make a comment on the YouTube on a YouTube video, I'll find it, um, on one of my YouTube videos, uh, with a content idea you want to see on the channel, your favorite underdog pay, uh, playing on the upcoming slate, and the team that you think wins their league, or the team that wins Worlds. Uh, so let's talk about the matches tomorrow. Let's start in Korea. Uh, so first up, we have Live Sandbox against DRX. So for DRX tonight, we can play Piosic or Deft. Um, I th most people think that DRX is much better than Sandbox. Uh, there are some people in the Discord who like Sandbox. Um, so I, I would say, you know, I definitely think that the most likely outcome is DRX 2-0. DRX is a quality team. This is the kind of match that they should be winning two to zero. It doesn't mean that they will. That doesn't if they lose, it doesn't necessarily kill them for prize picks because I think that, that Sandbox will still be a sloppy team and uh, will still allow you know about twelve kills in um, a DRX loss. So from that perspective, I'm not really afraid of playing um, the overs on Piosic. Uh for Deft. The reason why Deft um, hit like the reason why Deft hits unders more often, I think, is because he plays a lot of Senna. So if the teams that are playing against DRX were smart about it, they would try to ban the Senna um, because you know he has a good win rate on it and he's just a very good player on Senna in general. Um, but Senna and Ezreal are really the two main champions that he plays, and those are often games that are low kill score. Um, and we don't know what champions he's going to play, but just in my experience, those are two, champ uh, those are two champions that will, uh, you know, have under three or four kills per match, and we would like it to be one win with three and one win with four, or something like that. Uh, so for for this match, I think Piosic is definitely an over. Uh, he is the primary uh, carry on the team right now. He kind of forces the issue for the most part. And is always a part of the action in the early in the early mid and late game. He plays a lot of champions that have high kill upside. He plays things like Kindred, which is good um, for prize picks. The interesting spot here is the sandbox side. I think that the I think that you could mess around and get sandbox here. Um, so let's go to. The overview. Sandbox is two and two. They beat KT Rolster and they beat Kwangdong Freaks. DRX beat Kwangdong Freaks. I, I want to see that match though. Mm. Sorry. I knew I was forgetting something before I started this video. Uh, um, but th but that's what I'm what I'm trying to figure out is do I feel comfortable enough? Um, so they two zeroed them. Okay, that was a convincing win too. So that's a pr that's a it is it is a good win for Sandbox, but. DRX really didn't have trouble with them. That that's I I would 
I want to play the overs. Uh, I want to play Prince over. That's the one that I would look at more closely. So right now, I would say um, Piosic is number one. Let me let me do this. And then we'll just keep going. I like those two the most. You could think about Croco. You could think about Deft. I, I don't love the Deft one. Um, but let's go to the second match. The second match in the LCK is T1 against Kwangdong Freaks. So T1 is obviously a huge favorite. Um, they're a much better team. And Prize Picks is begging you to play Teddy over at 3.5. I think that's a pretty good number. The problem is... I could see this one being lower kill score than than uh than T1 matches normally are, but they've been fairly bloody. They didn't they weren't bloody against um five four seven. so owner would have hit. I think I prefer owner here. If we think that it's going to be a two zero, I think that owner like averaging three kills a game would be fine. So my favorite one from this match would be owner. I prefer owner. Um, like, I guess the, the I, I don't love the Guma UC one. I would say that I probably like owner over 5.5 more than I like the Prince number. Um, so let's do that. I'm not doing any game threes tonight. So we have one, two. All right, and so let's go to the next match. The first match in uh, China is a is a close match. Uh, Rare Adam against FPX. FBX, FPX has been a little bit disappointing so far this year. But these are two good numbers. And the reason why I think they're both good numbers is because the the, the reason I think they're low is that it's it's viewed as a close match so they are the prize picks is probably thinking that they're going to go one and one so in a spot where they go one and one i would still like leon over four and a half i think that that's a pretty good number five and a half is nothing for lwx i prefer that one to um i boy and clid and then i would probably say clid over four and a half um I would I would feel comfortable with those three. It just depends on the matchup, the the way that you think that the match plays out. So let's say I probably like them. I like those three more than that. So eh, I don't like the clit as much if I'm being honest. So I'll get rid of that. And then the last match of the day, which should be a good match, is Weibo Gaming against Ultra Prime. So we have S of M and Huan Fung. So this is a high number for S of M. He has been he has been hitting though this year. Let's see. This guy had yeah. So Prince has been 60%, PO6 6 out of 10. Hmm. Teddy 7 out of 10. S of M 4 out of 10. Yeah, the S of M number scares me. I'm not that surprised about the Teddy one. I just feel like. Mm. Hmm. So you should you're supposed to play Teddy tonight. What is it over three point five? Yeah. Teddy over three point five. Hacker. The elk number is interesting to me. Only four out of ten. All they need is one win. I and I do like Ultra Prime. 
I think this is a night where I might play two. I might try to play two different ones. All right. So let's make some decisions here. Piosic over five and a half. I definitely want that. Owner over five and a half. I definitely want that. Leon over four and a half. I like that. I don't I don't love this S of M number. You'd really you'd really need them to two O to feel comfortable there. Teddy over. Alright, so I think those are the five. These are the five that I would want to play. These are the five that I'd want to play, and then I think I'd have a separate ticket where I played Elk. Hmm. And maybe Elk or Prince. So Piosic, I definitely want. Leon, I definitely want. Owner, I definitely want. Teddy, I definitely want. So LWX is the question mark. LWX is the question mark. I think I'm okay with this. Would I rather play... How often does depth hit? Depth hit three out of ten. Mm. I wonder if Gumi Yusi going over that seven and a half number makes it more or less likely for Teddy, because like it would it would make me think that the the more interactions there are between the two teams are the more opportunities that both Gumi Yusi and Teddy have. So, I think that's it. Mm. Yeah, we're going to call it. So... Piosic over, owner over, Leon over, Teddy over, LWX over. I think that Clid is something. That, the, the one I like the least is LWX. The other ones I would consider are Clid. I'd probably be, I'd probably like Prince more than Clid. I, I want to play Elk. So like in a game where they win, it could get extremely bloody. I guess Hacker, Hacker might be a good play. Because of uh, because of the shy. Hmm. Piosic over. Leon over. Hacker over. Teddy over. Fuck it. We threw in two tonight. All right. So that's basically it for prize picks. That's all I've got for tonight. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later.